happy Friday. Just copped off World Star and Two Chains is at it again. Now I've, I've said that I wasn't gonna say anything about Two Chains because I didn't want to lose any subscribers, but now it's kind of just like fuck it. <laughs> you giving me way too much ammo, dog. Uh, breakfast. If if you haven't, I don't. I'm not sure if the video is out, but I saw the behind the scenes. Uh, Cray Shine featuring Two Chains. Uh, they shot a video uh, in Atlanta, and um. Needless to say, Two Chains is gonna do whatever with whoever to get this money, and I'm not mad at that. I'm not mad at your hustle, but damn, bro, like he must know that his career has an expiration date on it because he's doing songs with people you really wouldn't expect him to do songs with, like Krayshawn. Like, really, you think that? I don't really see how that. Nobody fucks with Krayshawn, so what makes you think that was going to be a good look? I mean, she's trying to get back, right? Um, I wonder how much he, he got charged for that feature, because I know right now he's saying he's charging 100K, which I don't believe. I don't believe a 2 chains feature is worth 100K, and if you guys, if any of you are paying him 100K for a feature, you might as well, shit, pay me a thousand to hop on your shit. <laughs> Yo, Krayshawn is like, if Lady Gaga, fucking Amy Winehouse and Kesha had a baby, no, and Lady Sovereign had a baby, that would fucking be Krayshawn. And it doesn't ha help that her fucking rap voice is annoying as fuck. Like, I don't have a problem with, with, with white girl rappers, okay? I don't have a problem with that. I can actually appreciate the fact that she's not trying to sound black. I can I can appreciate that, or sound stereo stereotypically black. Okay, let me let me rephrase that before I get like hate comments. But lyrically, she brings nothing to the table, and we don't even need to go into her image because I don't get it. I, I don't get none of that shit. But um, I'm actually like. I mean, I guess, you know what I'm saying, when, when you sign your soul over and shit like that, I guess you got to, you know what I'm saying, do what you got to do and get your menstrual on. And, and 2 chains is really on his menstrual shit real tough. Like, y'all need to read between the lines, you know. Guys like 2 chains and stuff like that, these guys are really, really selling out. Like, my dude got a deal and sold out faster than a fucking Justin Bieber concert in fucking San Diego, like, <laughs> my nigga sold out faster than Klondike bars on the 4th of July in hell, nigga. <laughs> he sold out, so, I mean, I'm not, I'm not hating, y'all really need to understand that I'm not hating, you know what I'm saying, I... I never really was on the two chains bandwagon anyway, but this is classic shit of when somebody like this, if you want to see what selling out looks like, you know what I'm saying? Just look at two chains. You know what I'm saying? He's the epitome of like, <laughs> sell it out. And if y'all think that he's going to be a superstar, I guarantee you that his first album ain't even going to sell a hundred thousand the first week. Remember this. Okay. Bookmark this video. When, if and when his album comes out, he's not doing 100K first week. All right? He'll be lucky. He's going to be lucky if, if he can maintain the release date that he's got now. Because if I'm not mistaken, I think his release date's for August. But knowing, knowing his track record and the way things are going right now, bro might get pushed back. Shit, if Rick Ross can get pushed back, I know 2 Chains is going to get pushed back. Damn. 